Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Sam with Backcountry Life, and today we got a introduction of all the all-new 2024 Maverick R from Can-Am. But before we jump into that, guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscription button. It really helps us out. And there's also a link in the description that allows you to buy UTV parts for your rig or your buggy. We get a small commission, so thank you in advance and let's jump into it so guys here is the new 2024 maverick r so it's an all-new rig from the ground up it's got some major differences that you can see uh, just from the video here if you guys aren't aware it looks like it's got got this different knuckles uh, suspension in the front there's also rumors to be a horsepower increase and a few other major changes so let's jump into that all right, so here is the, let's go to the, let's go to this front of that. So here's a front look at that, and this is a next generation, basically all new rig with a whole bunch of state of the art designs that Can-Am has put a lot of work into this. As you can see with the suspension, they've got a heavy duty tall knuckle suspension, it's supposed to give you a ground clearance of, of over 17 inches and it's a 77 inches wide. So it's supposed to give you improved low distribution, roll center height, and steering geometry. A lot of guys are hating on this on the internet. It looks kind of funky. Now time will tell to see how well it does. Maybe it's groundbreaking and everyone will love this, but uh, looks kind of funky. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then let's talk about the motor so this is a brand new motor that's got 240 horsepower so it's a turbocharged triple cylinder engine and it's supposed to give you three different driving modes and there's also an anti-lag system they've basically reworked the turbo to be right next to the motor so you have less turbo lag and they also have a few other cool things yeah they also have a controlled wastegate to help regulate the turbocharger's boost and pressure to give the most performance. So 240 horsepower, um, big deal. The other thing is they have an all new transmission. So gone is the CVT and now they have what they are calling the DCT or the dual clutch transmission, which is a, f a seven speed. Now you have the ability to uh, put it in automatic or the ability to use paddle shifters on behind the steering wheel. So. This adds about 800 pounds to this Maverick R, which is about 50% more than the Maverick X3s of yesteryear. And only with the horsepower of 240%, uh, percent, basically 240 horsepower is only like a 20% increase in horsepower. So weighs more. You also have a dual clutch tr transmission, which is different than a CVT on how it handles the power on only a 240 horsepower increase. So in the sand or in the desert where it sucks a lot of horsepower, is this going to be a big difference? And is the old Ma Maverick X3 going to be faster? I guess time will tell. If someone that's wealthy enough that can have both of them do a drag race, let us know. So, all right, guys, let's talk about the different packages. So you have four different packages. You have the Maverick R, the Maverick RX, and the Maverick RX RS. And then this one with the smart shock so really the difference is what you're getting in the suspension and then also the technology so in the tire so with this you're only getting a 30 inch tire on these two um, this one is this most uh, affordable option but still at thirty five thousand uh, dollars going up to probably you know for for you know forty four thousand dollars is a lot of money for a two-seater side by side this is uh, crazy um, and then this comes, you know, the shock package is the other big difference. So this has the Fox 2.0 podium, same with this, but this is going to come with a four point harness and a rear camera and the RX RS is going to come with a taller tire, but with better shocks with the Fox 3.0 podiums. And then if you're going to get the, the RX RS with the smart shocks, you get these Fox 3.0 podium piggyback smart shocks. So let us know guys, what you think in the comments below. Is this something you guys are interested in? Do you hate the, this new knuckle that they're showing here on this Can-Am? Do you think it's going to help? Is the dual clutch transmission going to be good on a, a race machine like this? 
I know for our Honda, we have a dual clutch transmission on our Honda, and it's been pretty bulletproof. Um, better than it's lasted longer than a lot of our CVT, and we don't blow any belts, which is is a good thing. So time will tell. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.